beautiful sunny evening here in Salisbury. Really technical circuit. Looking forward to this one. One and a half kilometers. Tony, got to say, it's a real crit rider's circuit, this one. Oh, it's brilliant. Came here last year and uh, walked around the circuit a couple of times. Absolutely fantastic. Tight, twisty, and the riders love it. Pretty much pan flat as well. Takes a little cheeky look over her shoulder just to see where Tindley is. Here comes Tindley up towards the front, but it looks like Roberts is going to take this one. So nicely led out by the Team Breeze rider. Yeah, it looks like a long finish straight, but it really isn't. And there's the result of your sprint. So the first and second overall, Tindley and Roberts score points. This time it swings back in favour of Jess Roberts. 100 meters to go up towards the line so sprint lap these two as you would expect they're just going to roll through as does some, sometimes happen so they just want to keep the continuity and the nice fluidity of the breakaway group going they don't want to uh, kick back and lose some speed becky raybold coming through gabby shaw just chasing down then back to your next group led by joe tindley you have it. Sirona Calendar takes five. More importantly as well, Joe Tindley takes that single point. Calendar, good move by her. Durrell trying to find her way back through. You get this little kink down the straight. Durrell now makes a move. Calendar went early, but Bex Durrell comes through. Fantastic victory for Bex Durrell of Brother UK to Fossey. That's two from the last two rounds. Jess Roberts off the front, Gabby Shaw and Charmaine Porter come through for Brother UK. Jess Roberts, that's uh, second and third for them, and then fourth and fifth for Brother UK. But there's your winner, Bex Durrell. So Rebecca Durrell just pipping Rona Callender of Team Breeze on the line with Jess Roberts over 30 seconds back in third. The 2017 individual champion taking back-to-back -back wins for the brother UK to Fossey presented by On Form. Rona Callender did have the consolation of the brother fastest lap award in Salisbury. Jess Roberts of Team Breeze is still in the red jersey as the leader in the Iceberg Sprint competition. And brother UK to Fossey continue in the overall over energy green jerseys as the leading team. They now have a three-point advantage over Team Breeze with only Brooklands to come. Tony, last year, this was one of the races of the series. Well, don't forget, this was the last round last year, so we had a head-to-head -head between uh, Madison Genesis and Canyon on the night. We've still got the final round coming up on Saturday in Brooklands, but nonetheless, here we go. So our chasing group, just over 20 seconds down on our leaders, but what an opening 15 minutes, and it's Canyon DHB. They're going to have a whitewash this first sprint, going first to five across the line. There you have it, McCarthy, Peyton, H, Hennessy, and Townsend. Look at this now, this is um, typical Tour Series tactics. Canyon and Madison, little bit of a sort of alliance because I'll attack and we'll always send one of our riders with you. And uh, they generally let that go. And look at this, two Canyon going up the road, two Madison going up the road. So uh, it's that, let's form an alliance and then we'll trash it as the riders come over for that sprint. And it's just a result of your second sprint. So John Mould takes that for Madison Genesis. Page and Peyton well up there. John Mould, good to see him back on top form in the criteriums. So there's Rory Townsend coming around this corner at the bottom of the second last straight. Sheski, you can see now coming over the line to take this next sprint, but that's not his priority at the moment. And you can just see that chase group being led by Townsend coming around that bottom corner. Can indeed, Sheski now leading out. Good gap, Rory Townsend crosses the line just ahead of Moses. Then Peyton, Walker, Clancy, and Bradbury. That's the makeup of your group. Freddy Sheshka doing a great job of flicking around. And oh, oh, I tell you what, there was two nasty moments there. So good bike handling, great skills by the young rider to get back on. But that's going to have cost him four or five seconds. And it's going to have given him a nasty little shock. He knows he's got it. Sheshka pressing on here. This is going to be the biggest victory of his career. He's going to add his name to a long list of famous riders. 
who've won rounds of the Tour Series, lines himself up now for the final corner. He sees that line ahead of him. It's going to be an individual victory. He's going to sit up and enjoy this one all the way to the line, and deservedly so, gets the crowd growing. Freddy Sheska, a Vitas Pro Cycling brother, takes the victory here in Salisbury. Well, he sat up and enjoyed that victory, but Marty, he should have pushed on to get every second he can because this is going to be vital. Flooded at the front here by Madison Genesis and Canyon, but Clancy, a carbon copy of what he did last year out of this bottom corner. You saw that back wheel just slide out. Clancy came up. Hennessy's trying to challenge Clancy. That traditional seated sprint comes through and takes second. Hennessy and mold well to the front there for Madison Genesis. Well, front of that bunch flooded by Canyon and Medicine, but there you can see a couple of the Vitus guys coming over the line, and the time is the important thing. This one too close to call at the moment. A perfect birthday present for Sherry Pridham, albeit a day late as Vitus Pro Cycling, powered by Brother UK, took first and second in Wiltshire. Freddy Sheska became the first German ever to win a round of the Ovo Energy Tour Series. While Steve Lampierre of Cornish Team St. Piran still holds on to the red Iceberg Sprinters jersey. Vitas Pro Cycling took the win on the night thanks to Freddy's 23 second winning margin with their fourth scoring rider in 24. And with one round to go, the defending champions are still in the green jerseys as overall leaders. And your DHB have a single point advantage over Madison Genesis as the teams head to the grand finale of Brooklands.